Hello, everyone. In case we haven't met, my name is Dr. Harmony, and I hope you live fearless, live loved, and live free. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. And make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know when all my videos and content come live. We are back today with Tatiana for the second half of the month of November. And make sure if you've not already watched the first half, we'll make sure to have a link below and at the end or above in a card so that you can get caught up to date with the energy of November. And so I can't wait to hear about what's going on the second half of the month. And um, Tatiana, really thank you for coming back to share more with us. Thank you, Harmony, for having me back in the channel. I'm super excited to keep doing these reports for you uh, and everybody that's watching. And, and hopefully all the information that we're given uh, will help you move forward in your journey. Because all of it also comes from spirit. And uh, well, I'm here to serve and help. So let's get into the second half. Oh, look, Neptune is like stress. <laughs> so My sweet. Neptune? <laughs> so. <laughs> Anyway, the second half of the month. So if you did not watch the video, previous video, I definitely recommend you watch because we've been dealing with taking gunk out of <laughs> inner shadow. And I, I just have to share this just to crack people up. So if you watch the, the first video for November and we talked about getting out the plunger and, you know, sh like uh, releasing all the gunk. So um, right after Tatiana and I had recorded that and I went to use the bathroom, I had to get out the plunger because the toilet wasn't flushing. <laughs> so I literally really bring this stuff into form. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. Sometimes. So let's be careful what we say in this video. How is that? <laughs> and well, uh, something, and actually did not mention it in the previous video, is like most planets are also direct, which means that the energy is no longer so much what's going within, but we'll see more manifestation in the outside world from all our previous thoughts, actions, uh, revamping of our identity, all of that has been more inner workings. We're going to start seeing manifest in the outer world. And if the inner workings are fear, anxiety, uh, uh, attachment, we're going to see that manifest outside and come to us like, look, and that's what we're going to have to deal with. So that's the, and the first half of the month kind of has that energy. And planets direct is like all the energy is moving forward to, to, yeah, to manifest in reality what we have created previously in previous cycles. And uh, so agreements that we made in, in the month of October at this moment in time are going to fully come forward as well. And we're going to have to deal with whatever agreements we did. And if they're positive, great. If they're not, well, deal with it. <laughs> However, there, there is a silver lining to the second half of November. In the first half, we talked about this energy ramping up of immense tension and the tension is going to keep mounting because there is this, this tension between Saturn, the restrictions, uh, authority, uh, inner authority, it could represent government, anything that is has a structure. Saturn is not necessarily bad, it's just limited. <laughs> it's a container. And then Uranus freedom expansion future forward thinking and there's this like tension between these two amping up like big it will be in december we're going to have the apex of this energy so it is about to it's like if the more you squeeze actually this is a great idea to to show that if i squeeze my cat like this eventually the cat well not this one <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna go Ah, right and and scratch you and ah, that's the energy that we're mounting towards so if if we're not staying in peace balance and alignment we can be really uh getting triggered massively with uh, injustice with our own fears you know the information that could come up or things that we find shocking news. This is very prominent. There could be also um, uh, earthquakes. Again, it's the earthquake energy. Something shakes, rattles, and exposes uh, information that is shocking. 
with Mercury opposing uh, Uranus, uh, there could be a lot of restlessness and, and, and instability, a lot of instability. Like, so we're, we're amping up to this revolutionary energy. We're still trying to break free from that birth canal. Literally, we're pushing, getting it, getting it. And, and, and the silver lining is that we do have a few very uh, inspiring aspects within this energy. And so on the one hand, we will keep, there's going to be a bunch up of the sun, Mercury, and Mars, all in Scorpio. So you so see I this would image. Like this is like the cave of all the, where all the secrets are kept, the hidden things, the passions, the raw energy, the darkness, the pain, all of that. And now with Mars, Mercury, and the sun, this is the detective energy going. This is the actual deep dive. And with those three planets in Scorpio, there's light shining in that cave. There's the detective energy. And what are we detecting? Ourselves, our fears, our primal desires, our the rawness in us, and we can no longer hide from our own fears, our own shadow. There is no hiding with this energy. The more we were trying to hide, the more it's going to go, <laughs> the more it will come out, from, the more it will be exposed. So why not just take it as like, I'm going to look within, we're going to accept this, and, and get that breakthrough, because the second half of November is the breakthrough part. The first half is the, oh my God, what's all this? Getting the gunk. The second half is it's finally out and we get the breakthrough. How I'm saying that is, why I'm saying that is because we do have some very supportive aspects from Mercury and Neptune and Venus and Uranus. Like this is the call for, for freedom. And also... As um, Venus um, gets in the mix in a beautiful trine with Uranus that is around the full moon in Taurus, we will have a Venus trine Uranus. So this means that the anything that we value, our relationships, our, if, even the way we look, the way we feel about ourselves, there's a sense of needing to be free from conventional ways of relating to people so that for twin flames is really important because uh we are not the norm you know before it's like you do this you do that get married get the picket fence the dog this is going to illuminate a desire for different kinds of relationships that are based on true unconditional love unconditional means freedom this is the energy of freedom finally hitting finally getting like finally we're getting out of it and saying what do I value? What is my freedom? My freedom to choose uh, how to live, my freedom to choose over my anything, my choices, my body, my life, my partnerships. If I want to be in a, like, like in the twin flame journey, we know that the, the, the energy that we, we, we are trying to harness is this divine feminine masculine within and then share it with everyone. That's that energy of that unconditional love that is, is shared with everybody. It's not hoarded. It's not like, you're mine. This is mine. This is what we're trying to detach from. It's like, you are free. I love you. Go your way. Do what you need to do to be free and be in your mission. And I'll be mine. I will always be connected. So with our twins, we're always connected. And with all our twins, or all humanity, this is the energy that's wanting to break through. And also... Time to let your hair down and lose. <laughs> well, not so much because Venus is in, 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 in Capricorn, <laughs> so not so much lose, but, but more like challenge the status quo, challenge the convention, challenge the convention. I'm, and it's, it's a little bit of a provoking energy, you know? It's, it's the gay, you know, the LGBT energy coming out saying we also exist. You know, and we are beautiful. It's that kind of energy. And I don't mean to be like um, pointing at anything specific. It's more that energy of imagine is the is the gay pride energy that we're going to be seeing. 
and that transpires through everything. So you see, is this from this dark, deep, dark cave into that? Okay, there, there's this hope, but the hope is not without its, 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 its fight, because <laughs> Mars is still like there's still a lot of, of, of piercing deep energy, but the fight doesn't need to be bloody. It's something inner. It's our fight for freedom, like you always say, live free. Uh, fight <laughs> i forget glow forward on fire oh yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, you get your fears fears, find freedom and glow forward on fire so this is harmony's stable phrase <laughs> this is the energy of the second half of the month and if you oh. have embraced the first half consciously looking at yourself looking at where you have you know, honestly, looking at where you could make changes, create those changes within you, adapt them, be your own authority and, and fight for your own freedom, not dress like recklessly and, and, but, but consciously and responsibly because freedom also means responsibility. And I think this is part of that tension is how can we be free and also responsible? So this is something that each one of you will have to be looking at and we, you will be divinely guided by the energies of a spiritual insights when mercury and and neptune make um this uh, beautiful trine uh at some point you will be seeing is it trying that oh it's um i know that mercury will be in contact with neptune um you will be having uh this energy of 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 the spiritual knowingness so open your channels to receive this is the time also to receive that and let freedom move through you you know it's like you know when it comes from within and it explodes outside and it will literally shatter because with with the energy of uranus which is like an earthquake it's like shattering. Allow yourself to be shattered. This is like mm. image I just got. I just received that image of like a, sh a shattering of an old carcass that needs to, pff, and it's bursting with light everywhere. It's uh, it's a shocking process, but it's a liberating process. Mm -hmm. This is the energy of the second half. So the earthquake energy and become the spiritual warriors by the end of, of the of november at uh, november 28th we will have a mars trine neptune again is the spiritual warrior energy so become the spiritual warrior become your true self the one that is no longer repressed no longer told what to do the one that has aligned fully with themselves so if you are that person and that courageous you will be holding the sword. And this is like the sword of Archangel Michael. You know, I feel I just got the image of Archangel Michael holding his sword and bravely moving forward. Like, okay, it's time. It's time for the big, big, big awakening. And we're preparing. So we're on the ranks. So we're, we're, we're just right on time. So I want to stop the image share. So Harmony, you can comment on this energy because it's succinct, but it's powerful. So what comes to mind with me during this energy that's going to be very ring wrenching and like a ring being put through the ringer is that we have to have both the contraction and the dilation for birth. So there's going to be no way out of being constricted or being put in this box in order to know how to desire the expansion that we truly want because it is experiencing one side of a polarity that lets us know the opposite polarity being we cannot have the light without the shadow. So there's really no way out of this. And especially when the alignment of the astrology and the placement of all these planets are putting us in a position to do this collectively. Um, but as I mentioned in that last video that we did on the first half of the month, that if you 
it's not about the journey itself because we're always going to have chaos and we're always going to have these deep dives. We're always going to be ascending. We're always going to be evolving. We're always going to be expanding. In order to do that, it's always going to be layers within deeper every time to, to address. So it's not about some destination on this journey. It's literally about how you navigate the journey itself. So learning that in this truth and in this wisdom that you're giving yourself permission to be who you are, to speak your truth and to do it with clarity and to do it being in a courageous uh, place and learning how to live a courageous life, basically. And being courageous says that you're willing to face your fears and somewhere under that to believe that you're going to find your freedom. And then keep glowing forward on fire, right? Because that is what's going to keep you um, in alignment with, um, for me, in that one of the ways to alchemize all this energy is that it's going to continue to like burn out everything inside of you if you hold it in and you stay constricted. But if you can put that pain into a purpose and then you use that fuel for energy that is productive or that is helping other people, then what that will do is that will bring more of a gift back to you and make your journey worthwhile. So a lot of people are going through this where right now, and if you're one of them, make sure to let us know that you're being tested in this because you're holding everything in and you're not becoming all who you are, which is not implementing part of your, your passion or your purpose in this timeline. Because there's so many people waking up and so many people need help and assistance in order to be able to learn more about who they are. And we're all needed. We're all being called up. We're all being called out there to help. And while there might be a lot of it, seems like a lot of it's going on, you know, everyone has a soul and everyone needs assistance. And, you know, I used to say that as a chiropractor and be like, you know, oh, there's too many chiropractors and one at every block in, you know, the city where I went to school. And I still stayed in practice here in the St. Louis area. But everyone has a spine. And so that makes everyone a candidate for chiropractic care, right? So it's not limited. So everyone has a soul. So we're not limited here. But you will attract who you are. So even as a chiropractor, we kind of were taught and known um, that you might have a lot of competition or what seems to be a lot of competition out there, but you'll attract the people in alignment with who you are, what your message is and your personality of who you are and how you deliver that purpose or that mission. So there is no competition here and don't feel like yours is too minimal or minimizing. We all have a message here and we came here to learn what that message is, which is our truth. And to put that message into a purpose, which is our mission, and share our pain with others. And this is one way that you can navigate this without holding and staying constricted. Otherwise, because your soul knows to do something different and knows that it came here to expand and to share something, you will not rest until you're putting that energy into something that's very creative. So be creative. Um, get creative. And if you're not sure where to start, like I have a 30 day passion project that's very important. It's free. It's, it's ch changed a lot of what I was doing, doing it. I'll make sure there's a link to that as well below um, because it's something that you need to be putting the energy into. So thank you so much, Tatiana, for sharing again. And make sure that if you did not check out the first half of the month that you do so, um, make sure to check out all of Tatiana's ways that you can glow forward with her and that um, especially her two-hour evolutionary astrology um, re reading, which is using your birth chart to determine your soul's blueprint so you can learn how to navigate this journey with ease and not be as constricting because you don't understand why. There's really a lot of power in knowing why you chose these things. And therefore you came in an exact alignment with this astrology. And so it always makes so much more sense. And, and Tatiana's delivery in this is just so powerful because she pulls in so many aspects and dimensions within a reading. It's not just some 
general reading and she really pulls a lot of dimensions into the whole thing. So I just love your work, Tatiana. And thank you so much for who you are and putting your energy into a purpose and passion. Yeah. It's creative. <laughs> Speaking of that, I just want to piggyback a little bit on what you said about uh, finding who you are, uh, because this time with that, it, it's about daring to be different. Yeah. Dare to be different. What do you love that it's different from everybody else? Be different and dare to be different. Be okay with it. Be happy with your uniqueness. And mm. that's that's what this energy is also bringing forth it's like finally i'm awakening to who i am the way i want what i love i'm no longer subservient to a job a boss things it's like me me my own mission like you said we all have a beautiful place in the universe there's space for everyone and with that what like you say you attract what you are when you know really who you are and that's why astrology is so powerful because the blueprint helps you understand or see clearly things that you already know but with much more clarity so you can own it so i really invite you to get a reading because it's really powerful so thank mm. you Annie, for inviting me and um i'm here to serve you so anybody when you're reading uh during these challenging times please feel free to reach out and many many blessings to you thank you tatiana thank you everyone for listening we will see you next month for the december report and um may you always face your fears find freedom and glow forward on fine namaste